Thank you very much. Uh, when is enough enough? <laughs> Just in the past few days, we've seen uh, Donald Trump desert our Kurd allies and pave the way for a humanitarian crisis. We've heard, which, which incidentally is continuing as we speak, we've heard his chief of staff say that uh, they did indeed withhold funds in part to pressure Ukraine to investigate uh, Democratic candidates, and then tells us to get over it. And then in the midst of all of that, he actually proudly says that the G7 summit bringing the world leaders is going to be at one of Trump's resorts. <laughs> if you haven't gotten there already, it should be abundantly clear that we need new leadership in the White House. And we need a candidate who can be a great president, who can win the election, and who can bring America back together again. And that's why I've made the decision to proudly endorse the senator from next door, Senator Amy Klobuchar. Klobuchar from Minnesota. <laughs> I've been having trouble with clue and clo, but I'm getting it straight. <laughs> why would Amy be a great president? Well, just take a look at the tremendous record she has as a U.S. Senator in Minnesota. She has uh, become and recognized as one of the most effective senators out there. She's been the leader in over 100 bills that have become law that have made a difference in the lives of everyday Iowans. Yes. Uh, as president, she will work very hard to find uh, stability in the world and progress uh, right here at home in Iowa. Now, you could have the best president in, in the world, but, but if you can't get them elected, you're not accomplishing very much. And Amy is the candidate who I think has the best chance of being elected in November. <laughs> Why do I feel that way? I feel that way because uh, Amy has shown over the years that she has not only strong support from Democrats, but also strong support from independents and moderate Republicans. In her uh, races for the U.S. Senate in Minnesota, she has carried every congressional district in that state from the most conservative to the most liberal. And that's what we need if we're going to be winning in November. And furthermore, on a more personal level, uh, Amy uh, has a certain style that I happen to like very much. She, <laughs> in addition to a great sense of humor, she has that practical, common sense, Midwestern approach that I think will resonate very favorably with the people here in Iowa and will be a refreshing change to what we currently have in the White House. <laughs> In fact, uh, night and day, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and finally, uh, and perhaps most important, I think Amy is the candidate who can bring America back together again and to reduce the terrible divide that exists in our country. And uh, as Amy has said many times in her campaign, what unites us is so much more important than what divides us. And I think uh, Amy is going to make it her business to work for common sense solutions to our problems that bring people together and not divide them. I've been around for a while. I'm, I, from my 70-year uh, perspective, I have a uh, little piece of advice that I'd like to give. I think we spend an awful lot of time wringing our hands over what's going on in Washington, D.C., and it's just counterproductive. It's not helping anything. What we need to do is stop wringing our hands 
and roll up our sleeves and get to work to elect the best president we possibly can. And she's right here, Amy Klobuchar.